up for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2010 Ford Expedition Limited two wheel drive with only 15,000 real actual miles. Pearl white on the outside with a beige leather interior, completely loaded up with factory 20 inch chrome wheels, factory navigation with color backup camera, factory power moonroof, factory DVD player, factory power running boards, power tailgate, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. Just so you know, these limiteds, they don't all come loaded like that. Limited can come without DVD, without sunroof, without navigation. The car is only 15,000 miles because it used to belong to a, a person that, um, uh, that, that is from Mexico that only comes here a few times a year and he keeps it in his apartment in uh, either Miami Beach or Keepers Cane, I forget where, and uh, under a car garage so it doesn't even get much sun. And uh, he hardly ever drove it, bought it brand new, and I actually know the uh, previous owner personally. Um, this vehicle uh, qualifies for car, it's got a clean title and qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is their zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 32,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Alright, let's go ahead and get inside the car. The car has also keyless entry. The door panels are all beige with a charcoal here. And the wood trimming, of course, we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, screws control, tilt wheel, power folding mirrors, automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise, fog lights, manual tilt wheel, power adjustable pedals. Now, this feature will allow you to move the pedals away from you or towards you about four or five inches, which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver. Power seat, power recliner, lumbar support, memory for up to two drivers. We got um, curtain side airbags as well as um, curtain side airbags and as well as seat side airbags. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no uh, burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been, or well, the previous owner is a non-smoker actually, as I know him personally. All right, um, let's see here. Let's turn on the air conditioning. And press auto here. And let's lower the fan just a little bit so you can hear me talk. All right. Okay, let's start off with the moonroof. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has this hard co cover that blocks out the sun completely. All right, we're gonna slide it open so we can get a little bit of uh, um, lighting for the video because today I was shooting a video indoors and it's uh, raining outside so I had to close the door. Uh, the driver's window is automatic and that just means you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. Put down both front windows here. The, uh, the outside mirrors are also heated and like I said before it's got 15,788.7 miles. 15,788 miles. I don't want you to be confused. I had a customer that asked me about this car and he was confused. He thought, oh no, you're looking at the trip odometer. The trip odometer, trip A, right now is at 3.0 miles. Below that is the E, is the e which means that we're pointing or heading in the east direction. And the odometer is 15,788 miles. All right. Um, there is your navigation. That navigation can be expanded to take up the whole screen. Right now it's a split screen with the... Um, Actually, it's got two fan speeds here. Let me lower the right hand fan. What's the rear fan, actually? All right, um, uh, this right now it's on split screen mode, but you can make it go into the where the whole screen is uh, navigation, okay? Um, up here, starting from right to left, where it's a little dark. Hope you can see that. All right, uh, on the right hand side is your power tailgate. Jeez, this thing is blasting. All right, um, on the right hand side is your power tailgate. In the center is your hazards. This other one here is your traction control, and over here is for your uh, onboard uh, computer, which is going to light up in the same area as the odometer, meaning in that little 
box here with the green little lights and that's for your personal settings systems checks and all that good stuff um, you do have a uh, controls here for the stereo right on your steering wheel here raise lower the volume right there seek forward seek backwards you change your media over here your voice commands and once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth you can answer and hang up over here on the left hand side you got your cruise control and you got a leather up steering wheel which I'll pan around in nice and slow you see it's in perfect shape all right and on the steering wheel you got wood trimming up in the top here let's go ahead and pan over the dashboard area now so you can see it is also in perfect shape no cuts no tears no burn holes no cracks all right you got also an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor that senses bright light so somebody put their high beams on you it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision on your visor over here is your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gate if you happen to live in a gated community all right coming down here uh you do have heated and cool seats if you press it once it goes to high press it again for low press it one more time for off and then the, you notice it light up in blue to let you know it's cold and this one's for heating this one's gonna light up in orange to let you know hot so that's high uh, low and off you do have a triple climate control right here um, this one here is for the driver's side uh, so for example let's say I want to put the driver let's say I'm going to leave the driver's side at 60 but I want to make the passenger side let's say 70 so all that means is that the AC vents on the right hand side of the vehicle will blow at 70 while the ones on the left hand side will blow at 60 this one here this is R that's for the rear and that's what I mean by having triple climate control. You can control the left side of the vehicle, the right side of the vehicle, and the rear. So three different uh, levels of comfort so everybody has it the way they want it. I'm going to put it back down to low because right now we're in the high 80s or low 90s today. Very hot. Cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers. Little tray over here. Cup holders here in the center. Get a Microsoft Sync, which is part of your Bluetooth. Automatic transmission with overdrive. <coughs> Coin tray over here. Okay, down here you got um, your center console uh, with storage and in there if I can reach, I don't even know what this is here, uh, these are your headphones here and you got a auxiliary input and a USB port and you got more cup holders back here for the rear row passengers, let's pan over the seating area here for the passengers so you can see it's also in great shape without any cuts, tears or burn holes. Alright, up in the top here. You got your, uh, of course, you got your sunroof switches here. You got map lights. Uh, this is uh, for sunglasses up here. All right, we're going to go ahead and um, let's turn off the car. And let's move to the uh, middle row section of, of the uh, vehicle here. You do have uh, storage here on the sides and cup holders here. All right, this is an eight-passenger vehicle. Two in the front, three in the middle and three more in the back and they all have over the shoulder belts including the metal row passenger in the rear uh... okay back here uh... back here these taps are to indicate to you that in here and here you have anchors for your baby car seat so you can put your baby car seat on either one of the um, uh... middle outer positions and also you have anchors on your ba for your baby car seat right in these slots here for your middle position in the back of the center console by the way the rear seats uh... Uh, also, they're also heated. You got your switches over here, and the middle row passengers can control the rear AC, how cold or how they want it, and how much the fan blows. They have a cigarette light adapter for the chargers. You got your factory um, uh, DVD player that has also a video input. So if you could power through your cigarette light or adapter, you can watch it on your factory DVD player. AC vents here in the center. Map lights on either one of this uh, on either side of this hump here. There's another set of map lights, and back there you got also another set of um, map lights and air um, air vents for the rear row passengers. To gain access to the third row is very simple. You simply just pull up in this handle, see what we'll tilt and get out of the way to give you nice and easy access to the third row back there. All right. Uh, left rear door panel, same way, same beige with the wood trimming, with the charcoal here. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. Let me show you how that goes. Flip the switch up. And what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want it to be open to open the door from the inside. Once you engage and the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, flick it back down and this handle will start working again. All right, let's continue around to the back. 
Again, 20 inch chrome wheels with matching Pirelli Scorpion tires. Um, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Uh, you have also a class 3 heavy duty tone package. All the chrome emblems are in perfect shape. You got plenty of color on your Ford emblem. Rear wiper, inside the glass you get the low orange lines which is your rear window defogger. It is flex fuel capable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel. That costs about 30 cents less per dollar, but it doesn't mean you have to. You can put regular unleaded or premium unleaded. To open up the tailgate, there's three different ways to do it. By pressing the switch like I just did, obviously the car has to be unlocked. From your remote control or from the switch um, on the uh, center console. This is a 60-40 uh, bench row seat in the rear, 60% on this side, 40% on this side, and they are power folding. To fold it, you want to pull up in here, so it gets down, and then you would just uh, push here. And I'll lay it down completely flat just so you can see. And they're independent from each other, as you can see, so you could do one side and not the other. So if you, let's say you wanted to put a large box over here, but yet you need the sitting capacity in this side, you could do one side and not the other, or you can do them both and go into full cargo mode. Bring it back up by pressing the button, and then once you get back up at the, uh, the top position here, you can flip this back up here by just simply lifting over here. Okay, um, down here you have a, I believe you have some storage here, and your jack, actually your jack and all the stuff that you need, so in case you do get a flat tire, power tailgates over here, another cigarette ladder adapter to here for your chargers. To close the tail, we could do it by pressing here, by pressing the remote control, or pressing the switch on the inside of the vehicle. Let's come around to the passenger side. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Color coded fender flares. Again, it's pearl white on the outside, not just regular white. Right rear door panel. Even another look at the interior here from a different angle. Really, really nice, well kept, garage kept. Clean title, clean Carfax. Right front door panel. You also got passenger side power seat, power recline, and lumbar support. Let's go ahead and panel with the seating area here now one more time so you can see it's in great shape. Again, remember you also got, uh, you got seat side airbags as well as curtain side airbags. All right, before we conclude this video, we'd like to talk to you briefly about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right up at the top, you'll see a tab that says Apply for Credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click Submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video. And to remind you, if you have any questions, so feel free to call me. My name is George. You can reach me at 305. 218-5462 and again our website vehiclemax.net